Chem logger dove. Yes. Yay. Captor. Yay. The office of Speaker of the House of the United States House of Representatives is hereby declared vacant. As well, look, our goal is to secure the border. And well, I mean, it's the first time that a speaking uh, a sitting speaker's ever been ousted, so it's unprecedented in that sense. Um, there have been earlier moments in American history where there's been a great deal of trouble electing a speaker. Uh, particularly around the 1850s, there was a great deal of trouble there. I mean, you know, votes, 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 finally getting people um, in, in the chair. I mean, it's a sign, I think, if, if history is any guide at all to this, it's a sign of a party in disintegration. I mean, that's what's happening and it's melting down and that's pretty clear. Um, that's the older history. The more recent history, I think, is that what we're seeing today is the latest installment in the, you know, ever ever continuing uh, coup d'etat by Donald Trump. I mean, that's what we're seeing. And um, it's pretty clear that, that, that he's the hidden hand in a lot of this stuff that's been going on, that uh, I think probably the, the next step would be a shutdown, which is really what they're probably aiming for. They wanted to get McCarthy out of there in part because he stood in the way of that. Bunch of reasons, but that's part of it. And it's, it's, it's the politics of chaos. Mr. Speaker, my friend from Oklahoma says that my colleagues and I who don't support Kevin McCarthy would plunge the House and the country into chaos. Chaos is Speaker McCarthy. And I do think this is a triumph for Donald Trump. Anytime that you have um, the order being overthrown, I mean, he's managing to do now what he couldn't do in January 6th with his takeover of the House of Representatives and, you know, doing it with the, his own people. Um, you know, you don't have to have crazy, you know, shamans with crazy horns doing it. You can do it with Matt Gates. From the Freedom Caucus to the MAGA people, it's been the same thing, which is the hard right of the Republican Party has, you know, overthrown in one way or another, one speaker after another, forced him to resign, as in the case of Boehner. Um, it, it, this is this is this is this is the politics of cannibalism, which even Gingrich didn't like. They're eating their own, um, and the Republican Party a long time ago, really in the early '90s, decided that it was going to be able to take on this crazy kind of politics and be able to ride it to victory all of the time. That and it would never catch up with them, but it caught up with them with Trump in a big way. My guess is that they'll try to find someone else um, who will who will command you know the entire uh, the respect of the entire Republican caucus and uh, and put it through, ram it through. Um, but 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 that's only the prelude. That would be only the prelude to what I think is is is, is their ultimate idea, which is to is to shut down the government um, and blame it on Biden. I'll try to blame it on Biden and 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 not even that. I mean, just shut it down. I mean. We're sort of in, we're sort of at, you know, Batman politics here. I mean, this is kind of like the Joker. I mean, it's 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 beyond anything that I'm capable of talking about because I only talk about the past and history and it's never been like this before. But there is a certain nihilistic quality to what they're doing. However, there is also, you know, genius in the madness because the madness is about creating as much chaos as possible. And then, um, you know, then, then the Trump people will 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 step in. McCarthy was in an impossible position, but in the end, he is going to, you know, he, he does vaguely believe in the country and he believes in politics up to a point, but then he wasn't going to go that far at the very last minute over the weekend. You know, he, he brokered the deal. Look, there are a lot of other reasons that are going on here that are personal as well as political. I mean, you know, there's an ethics investigation of Matt Gates going on here about things that he was let off from in the courts, but the House Ethics Committee has a higher standard. I mean, he'd love to get rid of that. And uh, getting rid of McCarthy may have been a way to do that as well. There's many, many, you know, scenarios within scenarios going on here.
if this is a, a prelude to shutdown, historically shutdowns have not been very productive for the party that shuts down the Congress. I mean, this happened in the 90s, which is really the, the beginning of this history in some ways with, with Gingrich. And, um, you know, they, the Republicans unleashed Gingrich thinking that he would do a good job against the Democrats. And then he t t decided to take to take the whole country down with him with with two shutdowns that, that you know, basically reelected Bill Clinton in 1996. Um, so if you're going back on that president, if I was a Democrat, I'd say, go ahead. The only problem is that we have to live with the effects of a, of, of a government shutdown, which are not <laughs> which are very, very dire. And you don't want that to happen. You don't want to be, a, you know, the party that, that that benefits from that because everybody's going through a disaster. Much worse now, even than in the 90s.